What is going on, everybody? This is the True Kryptonian giving you guys a, a much, much, much longer waited. For me, anyway, I've been waiting to, you know, be able to make another video for you guys. This video is basically going to be talking about storage usage and how you can improve your storage uh, on the PlayStation 5. Um, there's been a lot of people confused as to why their consoles are crashing suddenly and and trying to figure out why their console storage is filling up so quickly uh this video uh, to my best ability i'm going to explain to you guys exactly uh what's going on and how you can fix it uh but before we get into that please make sure you subscribe to the channel drop a like leave a comment below you know let me know how i'm doing let me know if this video was helpful for you because I, I hope it is you know because I, I i'm pretty sure it'll be helpful to most of you anyway so uh, we're going to jump right into it now. So when you download a game on PlayStation 5, uh, a lot of a lot of times you won't know what version of the game you're downloading unless you absolutely do a hard check and see which one. Most games, though, have the uh, PlayStation Store set up. You go into the PlayStation Store. Uh, go into the PlayStation Store and you've got collections subscriptions browse latest and if you come all the way down here you've got right here you've got ps5 games and you've got ps4 games all right so that's how you can know for sure what type of game you download a lot of people don't really go into this uh to this menu in the store most people just go to search and just search the game all right another thing you can do is if you've downloaded the game already, what you can do. Now, you can go here to your game, go down those three dots right there. You will literally see if you've got that version of the game, whether it's PS4 or PS5. If you want to play the PS4 version of the game, just go to it. And then now you're ready to play the PS4 version of the game. Then you want to play the PS5 version of the game. You just go back to PS5. And now you're good to go. Now this applies to most games that have PS5 and PS4 versions of the game. Like Mortal Kombat, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, what have you. So on and so forth. Now, when it comes to your storage. Now I know they said that, you know, the storage um, expansion or whatnot for the PS5 internal is not supported at this time however if you want to save a lot of storage space if you've if you don't have an extended storage you should not download the ps5 and ps4 version of a game you should probably just stick to just one version of the game okay now how you can you know kind of pick and choose between both you go here to Console storage, which is the SSD. You go here, games and apps. You will see that you have the PS5 versions of those apps and games. Okay? Now, uh, you go here. Get yourself. If you plan on playing any PS4 games on the PS5, you should definitely invest in an extended storage. Okay? Get your extended storage. And your games, your PS4 games... As you can see here, PS4, 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 PS4. As you can see here, if you go back, you have the option to toggle this off. It's on automatically once you plug in an external drive. Always install PS4 games to extended storage. Once you plug that in, it's automatically going to be toggled on for you unless you turn it off yourself. Okay, But I would suggest that if you're playing any PS4 games on the PS5, definitely have an extended storage okay because those ps4 games are going to go automatically to your extent your ps4 games are going to go automatically to your ps uh your extended storage i'm sorry and then you don't have to worry about your internal storage for on your ps5 getting clogged up uh you know being low on storage you know because what if you want to download another ps5 game you know well you might not have the space for it and, you know, since I've gotten the extended storage for the PS4 games, you know, I've I've got 360 
uh, gigs worth of storage left on the internal drive. And, you know, that's that's pretty good. Now, you know, I can add more games to it that are PS5 versions. However, if you've got low storage space left, like anywhere in the hundreds, or even the fifties, I've heard, your console will just crash and it'll just cut off. Okay, that's usually happening from, you know, your storage space being clogged up and, you know, your system is trying to compensate. Now, of course, we know this is the launch version of the console, so, you know, there are going to be more bugs and, you know, more instances where, you know, things are going to go wrong. But that should help clear up, you know, your game crashing and all that good stuff. Another thing you should probably look into, you go down here to save data and game apps. If you've got an OLED, if you're like me and you're on an OLED 8K or OLED 4K, you know, performance mode is good you know, for if you want to play games at 120, you know, refresh rate, you know, I've got mine on performance mode. Games like Black Ops Cold War, Spider Man Miles Morales, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, they support 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, if you don't want to do refresh rate, you can stick to just, you know, get uh, default or you can do resolution mode. You know, resolution, of course, just gives like a more crisper picture. Performance mode gives a more fluid, you know, transition in your game which is you know excuse my language it's just it's just fucking beautiful you know but you know, that's all i've got for you guys if you got any more questions or concerns that you haven't had answered already you know please drop me a comment uh i hope this was helpful to anyone who's watched it yo guys be safe out there and god bless <laughs>